Hello, I'm Baltimore County Councilman Julian Jones. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Public Justice Center and the Unemployed Workers Union for successfully slowing down Governor Hogan's uh, attempt to block the unemployment benefits and end the extra $300 a week that was coming to Marylanders who desperately need that money from the federal government. It didn't cost us and wasn't going to cost us a penny here in Maryland. I'd like to thank Baltimore Circuit Judge Lawrence Fletcher Hill for issuing the 10-day restraining order. And I would hope that at the end of the 10 days that the judge would rule in favor of the Marylanders who desperately need the money. Now, I think Governor Larry Hogan is being short-sighted and narrow-minded. I think he can do better. And I'm urging Governor Hogan to do better. During this pandemic, you are a leader and you made us all proud. In fact, you broke ranks. You showed courage by breaking ranks with former President Donald Trump, as well as many other Republican governors, by doing what was in the best interest of the citizens of Maryland. Well, today, I'm calling on you, Governor Hogan, to do that again. During the pandemic, you were a hero. You did a great job. But now you're turning into a Scrooge by trying to remove money or take money out of the pockets of Marylanders. And to be quite clear, it's not just the Marylanders, the 178,000 Marylanders that are on unemployment that was going to get that money. $400 million is what we're talking about. Over the next two months, $400 million Governor Hogan is trying to take out of the pockets of the workers and stop that money from going into Maryland's economy. Because clearly, most of that money, was, if not all of that money, was going to be spent in our economy. So, Governor Hogan, take this opportunity to seek a win-win solution. Our economy wins best when everybody wins. The workers as well as the businesses. And I know that there's a solution out there because I've seen other states come up with solutions. So, Governor Hogan, take this opportunity to come up with a solution where everybody wins. During the pandemic, we dumped hundreds of millions of dollars into small businesses because they needed it. Today, let's not pick one over the other. Stand strong to do what's best for all Marylanders, for the entire Maryland economy. Thank you for watching, and may God continue to bless you and your family.